read valve intake. This is still a rotary valve case. So the crank closes, opens, closes, opens, closes, opens. And the crank in this area together is the rotary valve. If you want to change to a reed valve, you have to remove all this area here so that the crank does not close the intake anymore. There is a big hole toward the reeds. And the valve, as it is called, the valve is from then on the reeds. The reeds are the valves. The rotary valve, it is the casing and the crankshaft. And with reed valve, the crankshaft does not close anything anymore, it's only the reeds there sitting here over the intake. With the rotary valve engine, the crank cheek and the engine case, they are defining they are the rotary valve, a valve that opens and closes. So the cheek opens, closes, opens, closes. But what's up with the reed valve? Because look, I can put stuff in here and it even comes out where the condrod is. So we need something that closes. And here comes the reeds. The reeds do sit here. Let's zoom out. These are the reeds, they open and close according to what the cylinder and exhaust is sucking, wants to take. They just open and close and they sit here and this is reed valve. It's not two parts, it's with the rotary valve, it is one part. How does it look? Light. How does it look? We have a manifold, we have the reeds. They are sitting in here, and then we have the nozzle, and there the big carburetor sits, in this case, you get it, it's gonna be 30 millimeter the lower door, and it sits here. Nozzle, reed, manifold, and the crankcase. We have a manifold sitting on the engine case. The crank does not close this hole. We have reeds. These reeds, they open and close. The low pressure in the engine. That's the noise these engines make. So this sits here. And there's the nozzle. There's the carburetor. From the bottom you see that these reeds here opening, 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 opening. Da, 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 These are the reeds. Now they open according to the low pressure in the engine. Blah, 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 blah. And if these edges here are damaged then this doesn't close anymore properly because this is here rubber below and they really tighten up so with damaged reeds you also have blowback problems and you cannot set the carburetor and blowback even though there is no intake timing because reed valves don't have intake timings the crank does not close the intake anymore the reeds do this metal thing is here keep them don't remove them when you because they help the reeds not to bend too much you know they limit it here if they are not here then they bend even more and the edges get damaged and they need to close 100 percent how do we check that we take that 0 0.1 gouge to the back 
and see that. Original crank, original case. That is the renewed rotor valve pad I showed you before. And how about to the front? It fits. This crankshaft cheek together with this area here is the rotary valve. The distance between the cheek and the engine case has to be less than 0.1. And the professionists are centered over the bearing seat. They're turning out this welded and higher area to the set value of 0 0.05. So you turn it out, then you stop, you take it out, you measure, you put the crankshaft in, you measure it and you restart as long as you get these needed 0 0.05 or let's say less than 0 0.1 this is the set value all original engines do have from the Piaggio factory <laughs>